Welcome back to our channel where you can watch as I paint a giant window and simultaneously witness Lincoln crash the drone again. I think we have too many trees. September has arrived and while I had planned a fun segment of the two of us sitting around a fire drinking red wine and roasting marshmallows, we are instead closing all of the shutters on the chateau to keep the heat out. It's very hot here. So the dressing room is coming along. Um, I've started painting the windows and all the trim will be in a high gloss white. And I think it looks great. I love using high gloss. I don't love painting with it. It's just such a pain in the butt. Once it's finished, it looks really beautiful. What else do we have to do? There's a lot to do in here. More work than I had anticipated, but everything is fixed, caulked, except for this, of course. <laughs> uh, this will be finished tomorrow. The big chunks of plaster, this just needs to be sanded, and then we'll put a skim coat over this. And hopefully you won't know it's a doorway. I'm almost done priming, and then um, paint, and we'll be set. And then the bedroom. The bedroom is the big, the big uh, nightmare. The ironing board is here with a sheet over it and you can see the black fur and that is uh, for Maple, our cat. <laughs> I just kept it here because she likes to sit high up and I've taken everything out of the room. So that's her one spot. And we have all the shutters closed because it's hot. Uh, you can see. Open these up. But we're fortunate to have interior and exterior shutters. It makes a huge difference with keeping the heat out. Since there's no air conditioning. Right, Fig? Oh, it works. Yes, it does. You just told me to stand back when you plug <laughs> that in, so that's reminiscent of when you yeah. first plugged in our crystal chandelier that right. wasn't rewired and desperately needed it. <laughs> it kind of blew up, and that's when you knew you needed to rewire it, so. Yeah. Now you're an expert. Oh, sure. <laughs> More so of if, an expert. Than so if anybody needs a chandelier rewire, just drop it off and um, Lincoln will get around to it in his spare time. I charge by the hour. Yeah, it's... <laughs> it's going to cost a lot. It's going to cost a lot. <laughs> that could be your side hustle. So you're done. I'm done with three of them. Oh, right. How many arms are there again? There's six. A, there's another three. So there's six total. But I had to break up the wiring because of the connectors I have. So I had to wire three together and then another three. Oh, okay. So that's just the Is that normally how you do it or? Yeah, that's why I did other ones too. Just because they don't have connectors that you can put that many in without you know, you take a few wires and put them together and shove them into one, and I don't like to do that. That seems like there's more room for, for error. 
Those are the wires that I just took the ends off. See, it's got black on it. The black's only on one side, I think. So what is that? What is that you're showing me? It arced. It went z And I'm not sure what caused it, really. That was a new wire? Yeah, everything was hooked up properly, but there must have been a stray strand. That oh, was, boy. Yeah, these things don't have a lot of room for, for error. <laughs> The wires go very close together. This chandelier is incredibly heavy. This is like solid brass. Yeah. These arms are solid. They, you can see the wires are going on the outside. Mm -hmm. This piece alone weighs like 10 pounds. Yeah, it's... <laughs> I was a little worried about how it's going to um, hold yeah. up in the ceiling, but you, you have that part figured out. Because you're just going to stand there and hold it when I need yes. to put the light on. <laughs> so Lincoln is performing exploratory surgery yes. on the ceiling, uh, trying to make a hole. Well, all right, I got to figure out how we're going to mount that thing, that very heavy chandelier. Yeah, that thing is heavy. And there's no hook mm -hmm. in the ceiling here, so we need to figure that out to find a right. way to support it. Right. But I think Lincoln would have made a great doctor with all the precision. You're very precise. Yeah. And you can usually figure out the problems. And not many people know this, but Lincoln got into the pre-med program at Columbia University. In New York, but you did. You decided not to go. That is correct. I don't know why. I had, I had better things to do. You know, really? <laughs> <laughs> well, I think you missed your calling. Now you're performing surgery on a yeah. an old an old light. I'll come back when you make some progress. Okay. This one's just long enough. So the hook goes into the beam. Right, you can see the beam right next to where the wires yeah. come out. So you lucked out, you, you found the beam. This was... Um, yeah, that was lucky. Yeah, because normally you were poking holes. Well, the, on the other end when we did it, I had to put a piece of wood between yeah. the two beams to hang the hook from. But so this is, this one, this this is, is super yeah. easy for you. Well, easier. Right. <laughs> We're trying to get everything done this morning because how high is how hot is it going to be today? 88. 88 for the next like four or five days, I think. So that's hot for us. That's very hot for us. We don't have air conditioning. <laughs> so it'll be fun working in extreme heat. Well, hopefully the house won't heat up yeah. since we've got everything closed. We'll see. Our LA needed some cleanup in preparation for fall. We had several big branches down that needed cutting up. And since our gas powered chainsaw kicked the bucket, we were really excited to try our electric chainsaw with our brand new portable solar power station. The fine people over at All Powers offered us one and we jumped at the chance. It really ticked all of the boxes for us. It's portable and can be charged from a wall outlet, your car, or with the sun. This model can power anything up to 2,000 watts, so if our power goes out, my stash of caviar and champagne will stay fresh for days. We even took a break and had a bit of espresso. Click on the link in the description below and receive 20% off your All Powers purchase. I almost forgot. It also came in handy for Lincoln to style his hair before continuing sawing. You don't want to miss out on styling your hair in the middle of nowhere, do you? I had forgotten how much energy kittens have. Everything is new and exciting to them. You can't bite the... Pickle, you need to go. 
you'll ruin it. You'll make the house burn down. <laughs> no, no. Safety first, Pickle. Gotta belt you in. Oh, Pickle. He won't be the same. <laughs> and thankfully, today is Pickle's neuter day, along with getting a microchip. After a long day away from us, he's happy to be home and did a lot of eating. Be afraid. They got spooked. It's because I'm dragging it. Yeah. The donkeys. So we're giving them new straw because, um, well, they're pretty much out of it and the straw helps them keep cool. So we're just I think we could use another. Actually, we needed three of these. Well, this will be good for now. Yeah. So the donkeys also eat this as well, and it's 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 fine for them. Fiber. Yeah. But they'll be happy. Hey, Dominic. It's soup. So we put up a um, hold on a donkey cam on that tree, this beautiful tree. Uh, so I need to check the footage out and see what you guys have been up to. Hi, Uvea, my sweet girl. It's funny, I had a dream the other night that one of the donkeys kicked me. Did what? They kicked me. Huh. You would never do that, Uday, would you? For fun, we set up one of the cameras used for the feral cats to see what the donkeys are up to. Turns out, not that much. watching. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe. And if you have something to say, leave us a comment.